Hi folks, Gamebook here, and we are about to look at the last class on the list for the Black Death. Uh, this profession is the Knight. I think I've looked at it once before, but I honestly can't remember. So let's jump in and have a nosy. So, here's our guy. He looks quite swanky, actually. Quite like the look of him. So, we're going to be starving, so let's just go and grab some food. This should probably be enough food to actually keep us going. Um, food and hunger-wise, maybe some more. These strawberries. No, I do it for us. Yep. Okay. So straight out the gate, these this character can do a lot of things. According to that, I may have used one before because I'm not sure if this sort of stuff comes as default for these characters. If it does, that's pretty impressive. Though. Apart from being decorative, I can't see how they well they wouldn't be able to make them themselves. Okay, so definitely up to the rope, bedroll boil water. This may come as default with them being a knight. Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe from here downwards is all stuff they have to get their hands on. So let's have a look. Yep, I've definitely had a pop at this class, I must have done. So small wooden shield, um the uh, Outlaw could make a wooden shield, so that's kind of, you know, kind of good that they can. Then more durability with shields, and then they can make a round shield as well. I mean, that's all cool. And to be fair, I don't think blacksmiths can make shields. So that is a plus to this class, definitely. However, what is required for those shields, I mean, that should just be wood, I'm assuming. Uh, wooden shield, wooden shield, wooden shield. Yeah, I mean, you can buy an axe. That's really easy to get hold of, so fair enough. Um, then we have a Lancer. Lancers take less durability. So that means have less durability. More damage with Lancers. More damage with Lancers. More damage with Lancers. All good. And it looks like they're all actually realised skills, so they're not coming. So the Lance, I think, I'm assuming was... No. So there they have that. We'll go on to that one in a minute. Swordsman. More damage with two-handed swords, two-handed swords, two-handed swords, two-handed swords. You know what's strange about this? That they get the shields line and they get two-handed sword line. Anyway, uh, it's all good. All really, really good stuff. So they can make a wooden sword. whoop de doodle a wooden lance, a flamberger, which obviously I have opened up, a heavy tabard armour, crested helm, and an iron lance. All looks pretty cool to me. Thing is, the class won't be able to actually get any of the stuff to make it themselves. But don't worry about that too much, you know, these are a class that need other people. Same as a militia. Strength, 10 weight negated from equipped armor and weapons. I guess what that means is if I'm wearing armor and it weighs 50, then it actually weighs 40 as far as I'm concerned. 10% more effective, more durability. Yes, yeah, so that is really good. Oh, I've just realized they're all skills that are coming soon. Yeah, it's a shame. Good though. Um, 10% chance of 50 gold from outlaw kills. 10% less damage from outlaws. 30% to 50 gold. So they're all skills coming soon. Honestly, pleh. that's all right, obviously, in that one. But the rest of them. Pfft. And is that from the outlaw class? I assume it means outlaw class, not bandits. Or does it? I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure about that class, that skill line at all. Health's always good. Armor more effective is good. Hang on a minute. Would that 
and that's that to be 22. Stamina, health, armor, stamina, health. Yeah, yeah, all good stuff. 20% more experience from killing outlaws. That's coming soon anyway, so I don't think they know what they're doing with that skill yet. More damage with war hammers. 10% gold of each bounty kill. This side. This side, not bad. Not sure how they managed to actually make any of the stuff they have. Wooden lance needs wooden rope. They can do that themselves. Can't do any of that themselves. Can do all of that themselves. Can do... No, they can't. They can't do cloth themselves. They can't even make a wooden sword. Yeah, I've, I've been looking at this class now for six minutes and it's... Um, pants. I mean, it's not if you've got somebody running around with you. If you've got somebody running around with you, this class would probably be ridiculously powerful. I mean, it's not re fully realised. As you can see, most of the skills are TBC. You know, but... Eh, I, I really like what they look like. That's some quite swanky, like, base stuff. And I'm very tempted to get a blacksmith, bang a load of stuff in a chest so that they can actually make the stuff that they have. But... And their special ability, which I remember I forgot with the outlaw, um, which may well be that hide and become a merchant or something, um, is something to do with bounties. And I don't even think they're particularly realised skills at the moment either. Not a lot to really like about this class at this point. Um... I can't imagine playing this on my own. I just can't. I just don't see the point. Um, but I guess it's like the militia. With someone, it's probably quite cool. Without that, I'm not so sure. I don't think I'd really bother with this. Um, so, yeah, that's my overview of this class. It's another fully combat orientated class. It can craft stuff, but it can't actually do it without people literally giving them pretty much 95% of it. The only thing they can actually craft is that shield. And I think the lance. Yeah, lance and the shield. And to make the lance, we need an axe. And make the shield, we need an axe. Um, can I be bothered to get the stuff to make a lance? I don't think I can. Um, need some wood and some rope. I'm already depressed at that thought. You know what? Let's go see what the merchants are selling. I know I've not got any money. That's not what I'm bothered about at the moment. Because they might be selling rope, or they might be selling um, wood. Well, actually, wood. I'm not even that bothered about. I can get wood easy enough. Let's see if any of the merchants are actually selling rope. Because there's loads of stuff I can just go and grab to get a bit of cash together to get some of that. That'll be faster than crafting and failing with certain things. Is that a food trader or is that a tool oh, trader? Yeah. Food tra oh, actually, yeah, yeah. You'd be amazed. They're all weird what they actually sell. I mean, here's a helmet for a start. No. Uh, tool trader. Do you sell rope? Nope. You don't. You thought maybe they might have. No, they sell bandages, which is really weird. You can buy them and sell them back for more than you actually bought them for. Um, but they don't sell rope. And I very much doubt any others do either. So the best I could do here is buy an axe, chop some trees down, 
Make some rope. I hope I can make a lance. To do that, I need money. Goods for sale. Goods for sale. Can they even make a stick club? Must be able to. Ever can make a stick club. <coughs> Might be worth me making Goods a stick club. Sale. Club to get death a cow. Sell its meat. Get an axe. Yeah, you know, this is already showing you exactly how much of a pain in the backside it is to get the stuff for this class. Um, yeah, you know what? I I can't be bothered. Um, yeah, not not a very good class in my opinion. It is like a final class um, based on the beta, but. Yeah, it's going to take some doing for me to ever think this is going to be worth it unless I was playing with other people. So that's the overview of all the rest of the classes. Um, out of them all, Merchant, uh, sorry, Blacksmith, brilliant, absolutely amazing. Uh, Hunter, good, strong. Monk, okay. Uh, Outlaw, not finished, so no bother with it, no reason to. Um, this class, also not finished. Um, arguably a slightly more powerful version of the militia uh, but as the militia seems to have most of its skills finished more so I would probably go down that avenue and just get someone to make you the armour instead um, so weirdly enough the blacksmith is stupidly overpowered just like the merchant is stupidly uh, it's like OTT in a sense compared to all the other classes so if you're going to play this game and you haven't got anyone else to play with you, play a merchant or play a blacksmith. If you've got other people to go with you, um, then you're, you, you're more open to what you might want to do and you might go militia. Uh, you might try this class out. You might try a hunter. Um, but I think beyond that, where the game is at the minute, just go for those two classes and I'd leave the rest of them alone. So, thank you for watching. I hope you got some useful insight into some of these classes at least how they stand at the minute and um hopefully i'll see you in my next video till then game book out